right. So I have this quiz on BuzzFeed, which is basically my nine-year-old little brother describe Marvel characters. See if you know them all. This should be interesting because I don't feel like I know Marvel characters to begin with. But described by nine-year-olds? This is either going to go really well or really horribly. Join me on this journey, why don't you? And let's get to the quiz. He's worthy and was born basically five years ago. Rocket Thor Miek. Vision, Captain America, or Groot? Groot. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's Vision. It's Vision. All right. I was born yesterday. I mean, yeah. All right. This person has a special sword and was part of a special team. Okay. Okay. It's not Hope. Hope doesn't have a sword. Valkyrie? Maybe. Gamora? Thor? I mean, we're not calling Stormbreaker a sword, are we? Like, it's more of an axe. But would a nine-year-old call it an axe? Or would a nine-year-old call it a sword? These are questions I have. Um, Drax. I don't think Drax has a sword. Nebula, I don't think has a sword either. So I'm torn between Valkyrie, Gamora, and Thor. Because if this kid thought Stormbreaker was a sword instead of an axe, maybe. But I feel like by nine, you're old enough to know... That an axe is an axe and a sword is a sword. Um, if it was described by four-year-olds, maybe I would buy it a little bit more. So I feel confident ruling out Thor. Um, I don't know if Gamora ever has a sword. You know what? I'm going Valkyrie. Because I don't think Gamora ever has a sword. Hey, it is Valkyrie. Okay. It's like... That was intense. So, a man in a suit of armor with machine guns loves to shoot everybody that tries to kill him. Okay. I'm leaning towards Tony Stark or Rhodey because they're the only ones that have like a suit of armor with machine guns. I feel like it's more speaking Tony Stark than it is Rhodey. So I'm going to go Tony Stark. It's Rhodey. Okay. Fine. I'll take the L. I'll take the L. Okay. A person that never misses and kills a bunch of people. Clint Barton. As his whole shtick. <laughs> That's his whole shtick. That's still iconic scene. Anyways, um, he is sneaking around a lot and has a sibling. Okay. All right. All right. We're going to go through this logically because I feel like I can eliminate Rocket and I feel like I can eliminate Wong. I don't think we've ever met a sibling for either of them. Doesn't mean they don't have any. I mean, I guess Rocket maybe kind of does. We're moving this back. Um, with the whole Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 situation. Um, Sam Wilson has a sister. But we didn't really get to know her all that well. And so I'm leaning towards ruling out Sam Wilson. Also, I feel like Sam Wilson doesn't sneak around all that much. But anyways. So now we're left with Thor, Loki. They are the siblings. Um, and Pietro Maximoff. 
I feel confident ruling out Pietro because, again, we don't. We don't spend a whole lot of time with Pietro. Like, if it was Wanda, I'd say, okay, maybe. But, like, Pietro, he was in one movie. Um, so I'm leaning towards Thor and Loki. Out of those two, I'm leaning towards Loki. So I'm going to go Loki. Hey, it is Loki. Okay. That was a long process to get to what should have been an obvious answer. Okay. Someone from the city who makes big mistakes but also helps people and keeps his identity a secret. Okay. So right away, rule out Tony Stark. (laughs) Spoiler alert. At the end of Iron Man, he goes, I am Iron Man. His identity is not a secret. Um, Doctor Strange, I feel like his identity is not a secret either. I feel like people know that Stephen Strange is Doctor Strange. I I feel like it's been a minute since I've seen the Doctor Strange movies. So I could be wrong. But I'm going to go with he doesn't have a secret identity either. Steve Rogers definitely doesn't have a secret identity. He was literally created as not having a secret identity. So um, Groot, what kind of secret identity does a tree have? That he's not in a live tree? I don't think it's Groot. Peter Quill, I also don't think he keeps his identity a secret because I don't think he has a reason to. So, by that logic, the answer is Peter Parker, which feels right. Someone from the city who makes big mistakes but also helps people. That feels Peter Parker. That feels Peter Parker. I'm going to go with Peter Parker. Hey, it is. Okay, here we go. All right. He has one of the most powerful things in the universe and is from Earth. Okay. So we can rule out Thanos. Because Thanos isn't from Earth. Cool. Um, Phil Coulson. I love Phil Coulson. I love Phil Coulson with all my heart. But... Phil Coulson does not have one of the most powerful things in the world. In the universe. He does not. Um, So we're ruling out Phil Coulson. I like this. Tony Stark. I mean, he's got all his gadgets. They are not the most powerful things in the universe. So we are ruling Tony Stark out. Bruce Banner. I mean, could be. The... Peter Quill is from earth he had the power stone at one point i think is that a play power powerful i'm of 15 different minds with this right now i'm gonna go doctor strange because i feel like the time stone is more powerful than the power stone i'm just saying hey it is doctor strange okay i feel better um He's fast and you can't see him coming. Oh gosh, that's Pietro. That's Pietro. You didn't see that coming. (laughs) Okay. They sound like they're whispering and they change. I'm sorry, what? They sound like they're whispering and they change. Okay. I feel like I can rule out Loki because we already had Loki in this quiz. (laughs) Even though Loki does change. He changes several times. Um, Nick Fury, Maria Hill, they change sort of as scrolls. Is that what we're considering? I don't think either of them whisper, though. Definitely not Nick Fury. Um... Rocket, maybe, but Rocket doesn't whisper. So, there's that. Gamora. 
Oh. You know what? I'm going to go Nebula. I'm going to go Nebula. I don't have a reason. Hey, it is. Eight out of nine. I'm proud. I'm proud. Because here's the thing. Eight out of nine. I was expecting way less. Even while I was taking the quiz, I feel like I got more than one wrong. I'm not complaining. But I feel like they might have counted this thing wrong. Eight out of nine. Okay. I'm happy. But anyways, I left the quiz. I left the quiz. I left the link to the quiz in the description down below so you could take the quiz for yourself. Forgot to mention that at the beginning. I always do that. Um, but anyways, the link is in the description down below. But if you've watched any of my quiz videos, you know the drill. It's always in the description down below. Um, but anyways, let me know how did you guys do, whether you actually played along with the quiz or whether you just played along with me. And we're like, well, obviously it's this one. And you're screaming at me because it's so obvious and I am sitting here going, huh? Um, yeah, let me know how you did on the quiz. Let me know what you thought about this video. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below. Mm -hmm.